I'm all like this, eh? <laughs> I greet you specially any way they watch this video from eh uh, you know say now from Friday that they know how weekend go be. Sharply, sharply, now don't now don't do the run and normally now to my three sharp updates where you need to hear today will be September the 8th, 2023. Normally now I just did my owner carry my keke enter inside the street of the social media lifestyle they walk out they go. As I they walk out they go, I be bay what they saw, but I say <laughs> like this and this so Peter will be an article now. They don't carry their family members, go to beg uh, a pick court, say, I beg. Make could not give us a copy of the judgment. So I will go file our further appeal for the Supreme Court. No, that judge just finished. No, Allah, we don't hear. Give us our copy of the judgment. We're going to say, judges, go file our appeal for the uh, Supreme Court because time don't they know that 14 days that they get to take go file their, uh, their appeal to the, for the Supreme Court. Anyway, I will give them the full details of that gist. Just and just and come down that number one. As I come up for there, as I now carry my kaka, they go because I'm not too careful. As I they walk out, they go for the social media last time again. I be bay. What did they stop? I say, ah, on a former president. That is a former president, Muhammadu Osagumero Buari. He don't boss like this now. It's just say based on that tribunal judgment, so with the pass, so you see. Now democracy and the people now, now prevail for that judgment. I don't know till they explain me the guy talk before. But anyway, I will give you the full details of that gist when you talk. From there, as my friend was finished, now I make I make you talk to come up for the side of the street to as I walk out the go as I don't want to come up for the side of the gate. That be bay. What did they saw? Man say ah. And uh, Minister of Works, uh, David Dumahi. Like this, this now you don't they comment. Uh, the governor of Abia State, Governor Alex Oti, is that the commander and say, Baba, don't, they don't already they change Abia State within the first hundred days in office. Back <laughs> All right, sharply, sharply, most enter the gist in details now. Take a beg you. Anywhere you watch this video from, do me one small favor. Let me share this video, make another person see him. So that any other person will get interest inside this guy, kind of matter what they talk for, yes, so. Me they for fish see them, me they know what they sop for inside the Nigerian lifestyle. I beg. Like this, I go start with our first gist, which, will, which are the matter we say, I think we have to be done with the bank and pick up, so they give their copy of the judgment, so that they go find their case before the 14 days go expire. Listen and be blessed. He say, in a letter signed by the head of, uh, of the legal team, Chris Uche, a senior lawyer on Friday, the team stated that the tribunal did not fulfill its promise of making available the copies of the judgment by September 7 and is worried due to time constraints that the delay will affect their ability to file an action before the Supreme Court to appeal the judgment. We had we, uh, we had by a letter of 7th of September 2023 requested by requiring for the copies of the judgment delivered by the court on 6 September 2023, which the judge had promised to in open court will be given to us the next day, being 7th of September 2023. Our clients are worried that up till today, we have not uh, we have not received copies of the judgment, which we have read as ready and televised globally on the 6th of September 2023. As we indicated, given the uh, uh, severely limited time to file our legal appeal, our request is one of extreme urgency as any day that goes by depletes our time and affects our constitutional right of appeal. As the time to appeal is not ex extendable, we have already lost two days out of the uh, only 14 days available to us, the letter read. Labour Party and its presidential candidate have also made similar appeal to the court, seeking immediate release of the documents given the volume of work that must, uh, that must be done within the uh, short period they have to file Supreme Court briefs. Three days now appeared to have been lost in the delays. The PEPC declared on Wednesday that the petition submitted in dispute of the result of the elections did not provide enough evidence to support the sought reliefs, which, amongst other things, included a disqualification of the uh, last winner, Bola Ametinobu, and running mate Kashim Shetima. The parties have 14 days from the day. Of the judge of the ruling of appeal to appeal the verdict of the tribunal before the Supreme Court. Hey. 
So I beg, so pro court, I, I hear for TV that day. When I talk, I say, I'm going to give them the copies the following day. The following day, like yesterday, and that yesterday they'll pass. I beg, I beg. When I don't judge us, don't be saying that Supreme Court we won't go. Don't be saying they really expect anything, but at least we just see go. Mono say, uh, we fight the matter to the end. Give them this, this copy now. What for you? Ha! I beg you, until the second juice, which is the uh, matter we on a former press do, Buari talk, see, man. Say, based on that judgment, say, nah, the people and democracy, I win. Listen, be blessed. He said, Bari in a statement by his media aide, Gaba Shehu, saluted the five member panel of the tribunal for standing against what he described as any form of intimidation to deliver justice. The ex president urged Nigerians to give total support to the administration of his successor, President Balatinibu, to deliver on his promises. If anybody has won, it is the democracy and the people, Bari, adding, Bari said, adding, with the verdict of the court, the election period is over and it is time to put the heat and dust behind us. The former president said the tribunal was written, uh, has written history by spawning intimidation and all manner of prejudice to deliver justice. On Wednesday, a five-member panel of the tribunal led by Justice Haruna Samani in a unanimous judgment dismissed the petitions challenging the victory of Tinubu in the presidential election. The presidential candidate of the PDP and Labour Party uh, Peter B, as well as the Allied People Movement had filed petitions challenging the victory of Tinubu of the APC in the election. Bakan, now you have been anything you want to talk. Also, our last gist, which is in fact, we say, uh, Minister of Works, the Dumai, they praise uh, Alex Oti for a developmental strides in just 100 days in office for Abia State. Listen, I'll be blessed. He said, Umahi who was in Abia on Thursday to inspect ongoing federal projects in the state, said even though he is not an apostle of 100-day celebration, Abia residents and indeed the Southeast are blessed to have Governor Oti as his handwork is already showing. Let me thank you for a lot of improvements that you have done in the state just few months now. I don't believe in 100 days in office. I don't believe in two years in office. I believe in working for the people and let the people see what you are doing. There is nothing meaningful that, anybo uh, that anybody who intends to work can achieve in 100 days. You may not even design a meaningful project in 100 days. But we have, we have been seeing what you've been doing because you've been, you've been around. You understand the pains of your people. And so, I commend you and also congratulate other people because they are going to see, you, see quite, uh, they're going to see quite progress. Umayi said, during a court visit to Governor Oti, while assuring that Oti will make Abia the Southeast proud. The minister, who was former governor of Ebony State, told Oti that Abia has about 11 federal road projects ongoing in the state. Some of the roads that he mentioned are Section 1 of the Portacourt Inugu Express Road, which runs from uh, Lupanta to Abia Tower in Umahia, which is 100% completed with a trailer park Section 2 of the road runs from Umahia to Tower, Umahia Tower to Abba, to Abba Raga. Others are rehabilitation of Umahia Ikwano to Ikotekpene Umudike Road with a length of 49.2 kilometers section of this blah 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 blah. All those ones are the they told the list the road where they do. Um, he solicited Governor Oti's help to sort out the issues affecting the building of a trailer park at Arungwa Abba saying that the state government should acquire the place and partner the federal government to develop it with the private sector. Governor Oti thanked the minister for visiting Abia and expressed his government's readiness to partner with the federal government to fix the federal roads in the state. He decried the stress people go through to get to Abba from Portacos and vice versa, saying that a journey of 30 minutes now takes people not less than three hours to complete. According to the governor, this has dealt a deadly blow to the marketers, to the markets in Abba. He informed the minister that he had already engaged a construction company to do some palliative work on the road and get one of the lanes working. Anyway, that are the gist for the uh, matter. Obviously, go visit Alex Oti for 
I'll be asking. I mean, many people don't do the praises God since the entire office. The, the guy they deliver a pulling in Teddy. So uh, we we uh, I beg unless Oti, you know, say now you be our only Labour Party governor for this country. I beg, don't let us down. Deliver for your for your people. I think God beg you. All right, and uh, the just what carry today. Until my three sharp all the twenty to here for today. So anyway, just thank God for everything.